going to look at the D land C. The D land C levels of support. Levels of support. And this is of the genital organs. The genital organs. So now to begin with, we look at the level 1. So what happens to the level 1? Before that, to we'll continue with some questions, the first will be what is level 1 of the DLANCY level of support of genital organs? And the second question we want to ask is the level 3. What is this level 3 about? So we we'll look at answering at all these questions and we we'll learn a lot more. So to begin with, the level 1, it has uh, the structures forming the support include the, there is the cardinal uterosacral so the cardinal uterosacral ligament ligament complex so this provides the apical attachment it provides the apical attachment and of uterus apical attachment of the uterus as well as the vaginal vault as well as the vaginal vault and this is to the bony sacrum so what is the consequence of this damage? The consequence, it can lead to the uterine descent. Uterine descent as well as the vault descent and the enteroceal. So this was all about the type 1. Next we'll move on to the type 2. So in case of type 2, there is a lateral attachment. So the lateral attachments and they provide support they provide the support to the middle part of vagina so they support the middle part of the vagina and the anterior vaginal wall is attached laterally so the anterior vaginal wall if you see the anterior vaginal wall it is attached laterally it is attached laterally and this is to the arcus tendinus fascia pelvis to the arcus tendinus fascia pelvis and the posterior vaginal wall so this was the anterior so in case of the posterior vaginal wall the attachment is so the posterior vaginal wall is attached laterally so it is attached laterally to the fascia to the fascia overlying the levetrinae muscle so laterally to the fascia overlying overlying to the levetrinae overlying to the levetrinae muscle levator ani muscle so what can be the possible Consequence of damage. So, consequence of damage can lead to the cystocele as well as the rectocele. Now, we look at the level 3. So, in terms of level 3, it includes the urogenital diaphragm. So, the urogenital diaphragm. So, this is nothing but there is the deep the deep perineal there is a deep perineal muscle and the perineal membrane so the urogenital diaphragm and the perineal body and the perineal body so what this does is it provides support to the lower part of vagina so it provides support to the lower part of the vagina and what about the consequence of the damage so looking at the consequence it can include the urethroceal there is also the gapping of the introitus also the deficient perineum
So now we'll be answering our questions. The first question we asked was, what is the level one support indicating? So in brief, the level one, there is a cardinal uterosacral ligament complex. So there's presence of the cardinal uterosacral ligament complex. So what does this do? This provides the attachment, provides apical attachment to the uterus. So it provides the apical attachment, apical attachment to the uterus and the vaginal vault. So it gives apical attachment to the uterus and the vaginal wall to, to the bony sacra. So the consequence that is it includes the uterine descent. Next it includes the wall descent. Also the entero seal. So now uh, the second question we asked was what is the type 3, the level 3 of this level of support. So level 3 it basically includes the urogenital diaphragm. So urogenital diaphragm is uh, it includes the deep perineal muscle. It includes deep perineal muscle and also the perineal membrane the perineal membrane and so the urogenital diaphragm and the perineal body and the perineal body so what this does is it provides the support to the lower part of the vagina so it provides support so it provides support to the lower part lower part of the vagina and what is the consequence of damage the consequence of damage it includes the urethrocele there is the gapping introitus introitus as well as the deficient perineum deficient perineum now we will be looking at the bonus question so you can answer this question in the comments. So the question we want to ask is explain the level 2 of the D-Lancet level of support of the genital organs.